Introduction Gaurav, please take care when you mix water with the acid. Keep stirring the acid while you mix. Why is that, teacher? Why can't I mix them directly? It will take so much time. Yes, I agree that it will take time, but you have to mix them slowly, else you might get burned. Oh yes, I feel the container hot. Why is it so? Let me tell you, it is because of the reaction between acid and bases. Children, in this lesson we will learn about the chemical properties of acids and bases and about salts. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Describe the chemical properties of acids and bases Identify the common properties of acids and bases Describe the strength of acids and bases Explain salts The chemical properties of acids and bases An acid is a substance that produces hydrogen ions when added to water whereas a base is a substance that produces hydroxide ions when added to water. Both acids and bases have different chemical properties. Let us look at their properties. Olfactory Indicators Suppose you are given four chemicals and asked to identify them as acids or bases. How will you do it? Let us find out. We have olfactory indicators which indicate whether a particular substance is an acid or base due to change in their smell. They are used in the laboratory to test whether a solution is a base or an acid by a process called olfactory titration. An olfactory indicator works on the principle that when an acid or base is added to a substance, then its odor cannot be detected. For example, the juice of the red cabbage. This liquid has a blue-violet color, but when it comes in contact with acidic substances, it becomes red, and when it comes in contact with base substances, it becomes green and even yellow. Did you know? Every liquid you see will probably have either acidic or basic traits. Water, H2O, can be both an acid and a base. It can be considered an acid in some reactions and base in others. Water can even react with itself to form acids and bases. Reactions of acids and bases Let us go back where Gaurav felt the mixing beaker hot. When acid is mixed with base, it produces heat. This may cause the mixture to splash out. This may cause you burns. Also, the glass container may also break because of excessive local heating. So we must be careful while handling acids and bases. Let us look at the different reactions of acids and bases with metals, metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates and with each other. Reaction with metals. All metals above hydrogen in the reactivity series react with dilute acids to form their respective salt and free hydrogen. Active metals such as potassium, Sodium and calcium also react similarly but explode when combined with acids. Reaction with metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates. Acids react with carbonates and hydrogen carbonates to form their respective salt, water and carbon dioxide. Reaction with each other. Acids and bases are the chemical opposites of each other. The action of an acid and a base nullifies the effect of one on the other. This is known as neutralization reaction. In this reaction, an acid combines with a base and forms a molecule of water and the respective salt. Reaction of metallic and non-metallic oxides. Now that you have seen how acids and bases react with metals, hydrogen carbonates and with each other, let us look at how acids react with metallic oxides and bases react with non-metallic oxides. Reaction of metallic oxides with acids. Oxides that add on hydroxyl ions to their molecules are called basic oxides. These oxides get neutralized when they react with acids. Acids undergo neutralization reaction with basic hydroxides to form salt and water. Reaction of non-metallic oxides with bases. The reaction of calcium hydroxide with carbon dioxide produces salt and water. This reaction is similar to the reaction between a base and an acid. This proves that non-metallic oxides are acidic in nature. 
Did you know? When an acid and a base react with each other, they form water. The acid gives away an H plus ion and the base accepts it by bonding it with the OH ion. This is why an acid is called a proton donor and a base is called a proton acceptor. Reaction with water. When acids are mixed in an aqueous solution, they produce ions. When dissolving an acid or a base in water, you have to remember that it is a highly exothermic process. While adding water to a concentrated acid, keep in mind that the heat generated may cause the mixture to splash out, which leads to burns. This may lead to the glass container breaking due to excessive local heating. When you mix an acid or base with water, it results in decrease in the concentration of ions per unit volume. This process is called dilution and you get diluted acid or base. Strength of acids and bases You need to use a universal indicator to find the amounts of ions present in a solution or to find out how strong an acid or base is. The universal indicator is a mixture of several indicators. It shows different colors at different concentrations of hydrogen ions in a solution. A pH scale is a scale of measuring hydrogen ion concentration in a solution. You can measure pH from 0, which represents very acidic, to 14, which represents very alkaline. Neutral elements have a pH value of 7. Did you know? The chemical properties of all acids are similar. You know that hydrogen gas is released when acids react with metals. This proves that hydrogen is common to all acids. However, you need to find out if all elements that contain hydrogen have acidic properties. Importance of pH in everyday life Let us look at some examples from our day-to-day -day life where pH forms an integral part, the pH of the soil. The pH of the soil or soil reaction indicates the acidity or alkalinity of soil. It is measured in pH units. It is defined as the negative logarithm of the hydrogen ion concentration. With the increase in the amount of hydrogen ions in the soil, the soil pH also increases leading to being more acidic. Soil pH is considered to be a master variable in soils because of the control it has on the many chemical processes that take place. It specifically affects plant nutrients availability by controlling the chemical forms of the nutrient. The pH in the digestive system. Our stomach produces hydrochloric acid which helps in the digestion of food without causing any harm to the stomach. When the stomach produces too much acid, it leads to indigestion and causes pain and irritation. The solution to this pain is the use of bases called antacids which neutralize the excess acid. The pH change as the cause of tooth decay. The cause of tooth decay is the corrosion of the tooth enamel. This tooth enamel made up of calcium phosphate is the hardest substance in our body. It is not soluble in water but gets by acid and when the pH is below 5.5. The bacteria present in our mouth produce acids by degrading sugar and food particles that are left in the mouth after eating. To prevent this, clean the mouth after eating food. Also using toothpastes, which are basic, neutralizes the excess acid and prevents tooth decay. Did you know? Animals and plants release acids in self-defense. For example, a bee sting or stings by a nettle plant. These are self-defense mechanisms developed by nature for plants and animals. Family of salts. Salts are formed from the reaction between acids and bases. It is produced when the H plus ion of the acid is replaced with by a metal ion or by the ammonium ion. Salts with the same positive or negative radicals are said to belong to a family. For example, NaCl and Na2SO4 belong to the family of sodium salts. Similarly, NaCl and KCl belong to the family of chloride salts. pH of salts. Here is the pH of salts. A strong acid and a strong base pH value of 7. A strong acid and a weak base pH value less than 7. A strong base and a weak acid pH value more than 7. Chemicals from common salts. 
The following are some of the chemicals produced from salts. Common salt. Common salt with the chemical name of sodium chloride is an ionic compound with the formula NaCl. It is responsible for the salinity of the ocean. It is commonly used as a condiment and food preservative since it is the major ingredient in edible salt. Sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide, commonly known as caustic soda, has a molecular formula as NaOH. It is a highly caustic metallic base available in pellets, flakes, granules and as a 50% saturated solution. It is soluble in water, ethanol and methanol. It is used as a strong chemical base in the manufacture of pulp and paper, textiles, drinking water, soaps and detergents and as a drain cleaner. Bleaching powder. Bleaching powder with the chemical name of calcium hypochlorite is a chemical compound with formula CaClO2. It is used mainly for water treatment and as a bleaching agent. It is relatively stable chemical and has greater chlorine available than sodium hypochlorite. Baking soda. Sodium bicarbonate or sodium hydrogen carbonate, commonly known as baking soda, is the chemical compound with the formula of NaHCO3. It is a white solid that is crystalline but appears as a fine powder. It has a slightly salty alkaline taste. Washing soda. Sodium carbonate, commonly known as washing soda or soda ash with the chemical formula of Na2CO3 is a sodium salt. It is domestically well known for its everyday use as a water softener. It can be extracted from the ashes of many plants. It is synthetically produced in large quantities from salt and limestone. Did you know? Water of crystallization is the water that occurs in crystals. It is necessary for the maintenance of crystalline properties but capable of being removed by sufficient heat. It is the total weight of water retained by certain salts at a given temperature. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. An acid is a substance that produces hydrogen ions when added to water, whereas a base is a substance that produces hydroxide ions when added to water. Olfactory indicators indicate whether a particular substance is an acid or base due to change in their smell. Every liquid you see will probably have either acidic or basic traits. All metals above hydrogen in the reactivity series react with dilute acids to form their respective salt and free hydrogen. Acids react with carbonates and hydrogen carbonates to form their respective salt, water and carbon dioxide. Acids and bases are the chemical opposites of each other. When acids are mixed in an aqueous solution, they produce ions. A pH scale is a scale for measuring hydrogen ion concentration in a solution. Salts are formed from the reaction between acids and bases.